again, it's Mike from Everyday Ups and Downs. Uh, someone posted a comment on my last video to ask what the process was for set changes on the 640G and since I had one to do today I thought I would uh, take a video of it and put it up on YouTube to, uh, to show you how it's done. I'm not suggesting this is the best way to do set changes um, or doing it as any kind of advice but it's, this is just how I do things. Um, and it'll step you through the, the process on the pump itself so you can see the screens which take you through step by step which is quite a nice feature I think of the of the new uh, Medtronic pump. Uh, so I've got my vial of uh, rapid acting insulin that's, um, I keep the one that's in use out of the fridge so it's at room temperature stays like fresh like that for 28 days. Um, I've got my uh, reservoir, these are the slightly smaller reservoirs for the Medtronic pumps um, but they fit into the same uh, 640G. The 640G that's got the little sticky up bit, um, just that little bit there, uh, that allows the larger reservoirs um, to be uh, fitted into the pump, but the smaller ones just fit in it just a little bit shorter. Uh, I've got my uh, silhouette infusion sets, those are the angled sets that work with Medtronic pumps, and I've got the, the infusion insert of the Kaplunker. Uh, to stick it in. So I'm all set, let's, uh, let's have a go. Now, don't tell Medtronic, but I don't always do things in the 640G order as laid out on the screens. The first thing I do is I fill the reservoir. There are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, it takes me a little while to make sure there are no bubbles. Uh, and so if something happens during that time, like someone knocks on the door or the phone goes, I can just stop the set change there and then, and I ha I'm still connected to the pump with the old reservoir. The other reason is that actually the 640 screens, during the time it takes me to fill the reservoir, sometimes time out, and so you have to frustratingly go back to the beginning and do the rewind process again. But more on that in a minute. First of all, let's do some reservoir filling. So the reservoir comes like this from Medtronic. You just unpeel at the end there. And there's the little filler uh, thing. Now, I think it was um, from Pumping Insulin, John Walsh and Ruth Roberts, that the suggestion came that the first thing it's useful to do is to just work the plunger up and down to the level at which you're going to fill it. Because there's um, there's some lubricant on the plunger and it just helps to prevent any bubbles sticking to the inside of the reservoir a bit later on. I'll just give it flick it backwards to make sure that's that's loose. And there you go. So now I'm ready to fill. Now I I try my best to uh to not get bubbles in the reservoir. I think everyone does. So I'm just going to go through my my f way of trying to avoid those. I don't suggest this is the right way, but this is just what I do. First thing I do is that I'm going to fill it to about 110 units there. I don't fill all the way because I don't use that in the three days that the reservoir lasts. So I'm going to fill it to about 110, but I'll only draw up air for about half of that, uh, which means that when I'm drawing out of the, the vial of insulin, uh, it it's, creates a slight vacuum, which seems to me, when I started doing that, to just help reduce the number of bubbles. Um, it might just be in my, in my imagination, but anyway, it's, uh, it's, I'm sticking to it. So, insert the, uh, the vial of insulin like that, and then I'll, I'll, in, I'll uh, put the air in with the, the air in the vial at the top. So I'm not blowing air through the insulin, I'm just pushing the air into the top, which you just push in like that, and you invert the whole thing over, and now I'm ready to draw it with the insulin. And as I start drawing it up, am I in focus? So I start drawing it up, I can see that there's a, there's a fairly fat bubble there. Um, it doesn't look like there's much else around the bottom, that's pretty good news. So once that is there, I'm just going to move that towards the top there, so it's near the insert and needle, and just push it back through and get that air up into the vial. And then continue drawing up, there's a little bit of champagne bubbling happening at the top there, but it's not too bad. Um, and at this point, I'll just have a little little look, give it a bit of a flick and see. There's not a lot going on there. There is a bubble just there, I can see, which you may or may not be able to. I'll try and get it in focus. So I'm just going to flick the vial on all sides, like that. And then just 
push a little bit of insulin back in, tap, 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 push it back in, and then redraw up to where I want it to be, about 100, 110, 120, something like that. And then I'll disconnect. And you may have just heard a little slurp as the air, there was a slight vacuum and the air just got slurped back into the insulin. So, so that now I can disconnect and put that back in its case. Now here is the full, filled vial and as best as I can I've tried to make sure there's no bubbles in it. But if I give it a little flick, you can see, can you see that one there? There's just a little tiny sucker. So I've done pretty well, but it's not perfect yet. But we'll come to that in a minute. So uh, here we go. Right, uh, let's start. So first of all, uh, you just go into the screen there and then on the menu button over here, you go down to reservoir and tubing. Uh, and then you select the new reservoir and then it just gives you this little uh, piece of text to remind you what to do. So first of all you remove, remove the infusion set from the body, you disconnect that and there we are, there's the end. Uh, and then you remove the reservoir from the pump which you just slots at the top there and then you press the centre button to rewind and then you get a little funky rewinding graphic. There you go, rewind is complete. And then fill the reservoir, which I've now done. Next. Next, you place the reservoir into the pump and lock, but you don't connect anything to the body. Um, so of course now, I need to have my infusion set open. Like that. And I just get the tubing out. Like that. Put that to one side. Here we go. So I'm just going to push that in and, and click it shut. And I'm just going to see, I can just see there, there's a little bit of insulin. So I know that it, we have gone through the rubber seal in the top of the, in, of the reservoir. Sometimes if you, if you don't check it, if the needle doesn't quite pierce all the way through or it doesn't pierce through properly, um, you can get a delivery glitch in the pump and it'll frustrate you by having to rewind all the way back out and asking you to do it again. But I, I can just see that it, it, it is going through there. Insulin is pushing, when I put a little bit of pressure underneath there, don't put too much in, but um, a little bit of pressure there, I can just see the insulin coming through. So that's all good. I can now seat this into the pump and then click and just round until it stops. Um, so I've gone through this, I've placed the reservoir into the pump and locked it, and then next. And, the button. and now we're doing the load. This is slightly different from the Veo, which just used to let you load and prime the tubing in one go. Um, the, the 640G, you have this load, and then it starts beeping. And now the plunger is coming back up to meet the bottom of the, of the vial here. And while it's doing that, I'm just going to take the cap off the end, because we'll need that off in a moment. Now I'm waiting, you can see the little graphic going, I'm waiting for it to start hitting the bottom of the plunger and as it does I'm just going to tap, tap the pump. Wait, 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 wait. There. Just at the point at which it, it connected, I tapped the side of the pump because it, sometimes that helps, I think, it helps dislodge any bubbles and as the insulin is beginning to th flow into the tubing, um, they just get pushed up into the tubing rather than staying in there to, to emerge at some unfortunate later point. So um, I can't see anything that's happened there. So now it's, um, again, the reminder is not to collect it to the body and next. So now it's filling the tubing. Um, and you have a, a, a units of going through the tubing uh, indication there just so you can check on how much is happening. And you just press the center button to fill. And again, while this is happening, I'm just going to be tapping the, the pump on all four sides. If, the, if there is a little bubble in there, hopefully it'll find its way into the tubing and we can prime it out. Let me 
just see. Oh, can you see that? Where are we? Okay, it's just about... There is a little bubble just where my thumb is. Can you see that there? Can I get that in focus? There, just where my thumb is. There's a trace of a little bubble, and that was in the reservoir, despite my best efforts, but I've just managed to get it into the tubing at this stage to get rid. And as they come through, I'm just going to prime them out. Can you see them coming through here? There, those ones. you see those? Just past my fingers. There you go. There they go. And they're out. I'll just check the tubing again, all the way from the beginning down to the end, to make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. So I've got a little bit of insulin flowing through. That's good. I can check that there's definitely insulin flowing through. Um, and I've forced out as many bubbles as I could find. And so hopefully now, it's taken about 14 units to do that, hopefully now there are, there are as near to no bubbles as I'm going to get. Uh, and once we've finished, we just go over there to the next, and next that. So now I need to insert the fusion infusion set into my body. So this is the uh, inserting device for a, a silhouette, the angled sets that I use. Um, I just slot that in there, and then there's a little blue cap just to protect the needle and the cannula itself, and then this slides back to prime it, uh, and then you find your sight and pop it in. It looks a bit <laughs> medieval torture implement to me, this, um, but anyway, some people insert silhouettes without using the inserter, but out of habit, I just I use the spring-loaded system. I'm a sort of sides and back person, mostly, at the moment, and there's the old sight, that's the last one. And you can see that after three days, there's just a little bit of redness there, um, uh, where the old, where the tubing, the actual cannula goes in. Um, but that that will clear up in a couple of days. And what I tend to do is uh, I'll, I'll do a line around at one level, and then I'll move up and I'll do another line around. I tend to get I don't know three three lines of sets around the sides towards the spine, um, and it gives me perhaps a month on each side, before, so I can give the, the other side a whole month's rest. Um, and so here we go. Just put the inserting device on. In it goes. Hold that in place. Take the inserting device. Take the kaplunker off. And then just get rid of the tape. There, and begin to seat that down. There's the needle for the insertion. And then that one. And I was advised by my nurse to try and make sure that there's at least an inch and a half between sites. But I like to keep them fairly tightly together if I can, uh, just so I get good use of the available area. And so now there's the new tubing. It only goes into these sets one way. There's a, there, are, there are open holes on the back and it's smooth on the top. Clip that in. I don't need this one anymore. So I'll. Oh, can't even get it out. There you go. Just peel that one off. You can see it's fairly. There's not a lot of discoloration there. There's just a tiny mark where the cannula actually went in. I'll put a little spot of Savlon on that, a little bit of antiseptic cream, and that'll clear up in no time at all. Now, back out on the pump, the very, very last thing to do is that the tubing here is all completely full of insulin, um, but the very last little bit, the bit in the cannula, just to show you the old one, that, that little section there, that's not got any insulin in it yet, so you need to fill that cannula. Um, and each cannula has a different fill amount. Um, the amount recommended for the silhouettes that I use is 0.7 of a unit, but I tended to find in the early days that I had a bit more success um, by doing 0.9. And fortunately, um, you can set the amount there. If you click on that, you can just dial it up or down. Um, so I could I could do down at seven if I wanted to. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay with what I know and do 0.9 of a unit. OK that and then press fill now. And it gives you a little little screen just to show you that happening. And there you go. It's just blinking at the end and it just tells me that the basal um, insulin has been resumed. And now along here you can see that the um the third icon, the reservoir icon. Um, is, is showing amber, 
If I was um, completely filling that reservoir, that would be showing green, but um, because I'm only half filling a reservoir and it's only half filling on the, on the larger pump, I only ever get it to go amber and it spends most of its time in red. Um, I don't really mind that though because actually um, I only have to drill in to this screen here and that, there's a really helpful little how many units are left in the pump just there on, on this um, status screen. Um, uh, so it's showing me battery is is you know half halfway full and um, and an amber for the reservoir, but that'll do me for the next two days. And the very very last thing I do as part of a set change, usually I uh, I make a set change just before a meal, but uh, this is a sort of mid afternoon one. And if if I'm not due a meal, I will make sure I just eat something um, just now. Uh, so that I'm, I, I seat the new cannula in, I get some insulin flowing through it, and I can also check its response against carbohydrate uh, at this point, rather than um, taking my eye off the ball and discovering later on that it hasn't taken. Uh, so I'll just have a little snack now of um, perhaps 10 or 20 grams of carbs, push some insulin through the, the, the new infusion site, and, um, and make sure that's all working well. So there you go, all finished, relatively quick and easy. I think it's a really nice feature of the Minimed 640G that it walks you through uh, the stages of the set change, especially if you're new to pumping, it's uh, good to have something to jog your memory. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for now, thanks very much for watching, bye bye. Mm -hmm.